Now this is just a quick video today to show you how I've set up the OBS on a UAD system with my DAW, my DAW. So what I've got here, as you can see, my OBS is recording. Um, it does take other interfaces, but it works. So went into my UAD console, opened up settings, uh, I went up to here, which is your your main out, which is one and two. I put that into a virtual bus, which is over here. So anything that plays will come through this channel. What I did then is I then send that. I set up a queue level. So set up a queue level. So how you do that is you go back into your settings and you can select how many queue buses you want or queue the sends so I selected four Not that I'm only using two though at the moment um, I then go to my queue outputs and what this is, what this shows you here is you've got your queue outputs here I set them all to queue one, queue two, queue three and queue four even though I'm only using these two at the moment so I've got an Apollo quad and I've got an Apollo twin at the moment on my Apollo quad, I've set one of the headphone outputs to Q1 and one of the headphone outputs to Q2. So on this virtual channel 1 and 2, Q1 is going to headphones 1. And then my mic input, which is what you're listening to me now, is going to Q2. And that's that goes to there. What I've had to do then is I've had to take them outputs from the headphones and I've had to route them into my electron devices. Because my electron devices are connected to the computer via USB, I'm using the audio interface that is within them to bring the audio from my UAD into the computer into OBS. So let's say I've got my DAW set up here. That's coming in via the DigiTap. Um, and that is how you do it. What I forgot to show you was how we set up the audio routing as well within OBS. So what we do is we go to settings, we go to output, we go to recording. And then what you might have here is a uh, simple mode. If we click on advanced uh, and then we come down to here to audio tracks and we select whatever ones you want. So right now I've selected them all, but all I need really is track one, two, three, and four. So all I need is three and four. Um, so if you select them, click on okay or apply on okay. And then what we want to do then is you want to come down to this one. Is you want to go an advanced audio properties and each uh, audio input you have here what you will have is you will have tracks so you want to dedicate each one to whatever you need so I've basically put my heat which is my microphone in to number three and then my UAD which is my digitact which is my stereo information whatever to number three um, I've also put six. That should be three. So I should have taken that off. Yeah, that's right. So hopefully that's right now. So each one has a dedicated track. So that's track one, track two, track three, four, five, and six. So I hope this clears things up and I will catch you later.